こんにちは皆さん。OK。Top 9 Cursed Characters in One Piece。Or let's say unlucky characters。Cursed seems like a big, big word。Why is it 9? Why is it top 9? Why is it not top 10? Or top 5? Or top 5? I don't know. Just felt like, yeah, top 9 is decent. OK。So let's get quick into the video. ロジャーはあの時笑ってた OK and before I start the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you can get every content I upload immediately so we can get quick into the video but I'm gonna wait till you hit the like button still waiting got nothing to do I'm waiting you hit it? Okay, let's get quick into the video. All right, all right. Starting with number nine, Yamato. Yes, Yamato. Since she was a little kid, Kaido been torturing her, if I picked the right word, and she wasn't able to go out and see what's outside of Wano. And he just wanted to make her the shogun of Wano. And she just wanted to be like Odin, but she couldn't be Odin. And even though. When the time came, and finally someone came and gave her the hope that she can go outside of Wano, guess what? Her friend Ace died in the Marine Ford, and she wasn't able to go outside of Wano or to even help him. Okay, with number eight, yes, Taizoko Goldoroja, or Goldiroja, as he used to say. Okay, why Goldiroja? I'm gonna tell you. Gold Roger has done everything you can even do in your life. Just like he said to Rayleigh, let's make the world upside down, and he did it. But Gold Roger had the opportunity to be Joy Boy, to be the man who can change the world after being the Kaizo Koni, just like taking down the world government and all that stuff. But because of his illness, He wasn't able to do it, and he just died after only one year of becoming the Pirates King. That's why he was unlucky or hers. Okay, with number seven, White Beard. Okay, I feel right, Roger White Beard. You get it? Okay, White Beard only was dreaming of one thing, and it was to make a family. Okay. But even though when he was with the Rocks Pirates, he used to get them the gold and all that, but he didn't really care about this stuff. Even after he died, just like Marco said, that Whitebeard doesn't have anything left because he used to just give, give, give and never take. Okay, he just wanted a family, but his family stabbed him from the back. It's like Squardo. In the Marine Ford, and he didn't trust him. He just trusted the Kaino, and he saw what happened. And the worst human being ever, Marshall the Teach, with the biggest betrayal ever, when he killed Thatch to take the Devil Fruit, and he ran away. And guess what? He defeated Ace, and he thrown him. With the Marines and you know the rest. The rest is history, as they say. So yeah, Whitebeard was a bit unlucky. He trusted them, but they didn't give him the trust back, unfortunately. Okay, with number six, Vin Smoke Sanji. Okay, why Sanji? I mean, he got raised from the worst family ever with Judgey, the one who just. Wanted them to be an aliens, or just want them to be a robot. He just wanted the strength, the strength, the strength. Even that he even put Sanji into a jail or small prison, and Sanji really had an awful childhood. And with the only person who loved his mother died, and then he was all alone by himself. But. There was Rijo, and she helped him at that time to escape. So, and then, I mean, Sanji really had to go to Kamabako. I don't know what was the name of the kingdom, but he really had two awful years there. I mean, 
If anybody had to be there, you just gotta be the unluckiest person ever. I mean, he spent two years. Just, I mean, can see them, guys. <laughs> okay, with number five, Brooke. Yes, when he used to be with that pirate's crew, when they got defeated and they got thrown within poisoned arrow, they they just knew that their time in life was just limited. So Brooke suggested them to just keep singing, and he kept singing with them until nobody left and all of them just fell down and got died and then and then his devil fruits power got awakened and then back to life for nearly 30 years all alone at the same ship where his nakama died and it was just all there alone for 30 years just watching the dead body of his friends and literally couldn't do anything so it's gotta be Brock, right? And then he met Luffy. So when you meet Luffy, you gotta be the luckiest person ever. But he's the unluckiest person ever. So it's just a will balance. Do you see it? Unlucky meeting Luffy, being lucky, a little mix up. It works. Okay, with number four, Vivi. Yes, I mean she had to work with the same pirate. Was literally killing. Her kingdom and she had to work with him just to be safe and then Luffy came rescued Arabasta but that wasn't my topic but you get it right and then after all that happened and she's now the princess of Arabasta I mean imagine being haunted by Emu Sama if you're just being haunted by Emu Sama you gotta be the luckiest person ever I mean, it's freaking Emu Sama, the top of the mountain, the peak. And you're haunted by her or him, I don't know, but you gotta be the luckiest. Okay, with number three, imagine being eight years old and just carrying the whole kingdom on your back. You just gotta do it. In literally six months, your parents are dead. Your little sister, you don't even know where she is. You have to lead nine men and you're literally eight years old and you gotta just go in the future for 20 years and you just gotta carry your kingdom you gotta be one of the luckiest yes it's Momonosuke of course it's Momonosuke I mean you're an eight years old in six months you just went through all that and you still forced to lead them and you're still you're still forced to be the shogun of Wano so yeah it's Momo okay wave number two yes it's Kiros I mean when he was a young man no one accepted him and then Riku came and he put him or he just made him a warrior at the Colosseum and then the Duflamingo happened that he even got to cut his leg off he just try to help dress rosa but he couldn't and then he transformed into a doll and even his wife and his girl his daughter couldn't remember him and he was just there forgotten literally forgotten by everyone and he couldn't even do anything and then his wife got killed and he even couldn't do anything that even his wife couldn't remember him while she was dying and she just told him to take care of his daughter or her daughter but she didn't know that he's the dad and he couldn't even cry he couldn't even tear for a bet because he was a doll so it's Kiros and his Kiros story is, is really heartbreaking I can even still see it until this time and I still cry when I see it so it's gotta be Kiros man Warrior of Dressrosa okay with number one yes I mean try to think you probably I don't think you're gonna get it I don't think okay 
thought of someone? Okay, number one. Yes, it's the legend himself. Nolan. Yes, it's Nolan. The promise between him and Calgara, and no one believed him. Literally, no one believed him because the island got thrown up there. And no one believed him that there was a golden bell and the city of gold. And he even couldn't be able to meet Calgara again with the promise to meet again with the golden bell. And he just gotta ring the bell and no one will hear it. And he will just go immediately there to meet him. But even Calgara tried and no one heard it. And he told them to go there to believe them. And they went there and guess what? Jaya wasn't there because it was up there in Skypia and no one believed him so he got executed in front of all people and she was called liar, liar, liar in front of all people and he got executed. So number one, it's gotta be Nolan. I love him so much and I love Skypia so the flashback of Nolan and Calgara is just a masterpiece and I love every second of it. And yes, that was it. Thank you for watching. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below and, and do you agree with the top 10? And if you got something in mind or if you got someone in mind, just write it and I might, I might just have forgotten about it. So it's not me disagreeing with you. I just I might have forgotten about it. It's like maybe ace sabu there are a few some people but i might have forgotten about them so just write it in the comment section down below and this is it thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and share this video to your friends and family and everybody in this planet thank you guys until next time see ya